This video was made possible through the support of the Wandering Wind by viewers like you. Thank you. By subscribing to this channel and possibly donating, you can help me create more awesome videos in the future. If you decide to do that, I thank you very much. Have a great day. Hey guys, another quick update video for you guys. So, a couple of days ago, I saw on my news feed a video from a guy called uh, Nikocado Avocado, where he, um, the time, the video, the video was titled "My Dude, My New Diet as a as a Disabled Person," and it was him eating Five Guys burgers and fries mukbang. Now, I, I don't want to, I don't want to sound like I'm judging the guy, but based on what I've seen of his content recently, because I went back and looked, based on what I've seen of what people have been talking about him recently, he's not in a good healthy place. He's gotten to the point where he can't stand for very long. He can't do very much. He needs assistance within his own house to get things done that he normally does. It's just, it's, it, overall, it's not a good, it, it's not a good situation for him. It really, really isn't. And the thing is, the, th the thing is, I think, that many of us, myself included, we're guilty of not feeding our bodies right. We're guilty of not doing what our bodies need us to do. We're guilty of being less than healthy, yes, but to discover that you're disabled, to discover that you're that unhealthy, that you can't even move properly, and then continuing on with, this, with the same self-destructive behavior. This is why I got surgery a little over two years ago now, or a little under, I guess. It was in October that I got surgery a little under two years ago, that I got surgery to hopefully help myself get healthy and lose weight so that I could in the future be healthier. Now, did I sabotage that personally? I think kind of. I mean, not completely, but I didn't do myself justice in trying to keep myself healthy, that's for sure. I definitely could have done better. Could I have done worse? Definitely. I could have gained all my weight back and then some... I did not, small victories, small victories. But the fact that I'm still overweight two years after surgery really says a lot about my personal psychological well-being and psychological placing right now in my life, and it's not a good place for me to be. And I fear the same may be true for Nikikata because he's, he, he's obviously aware of his disabled status. He's aware of his less than healthy lifestyle. He's aware of this. And yet he's still, he's still doing the same thing that he's been doing this whole time. Still gaining weight, still eating like he, like there is no tomorrow, like he's not going to have another day. And frankly, I don't know that he will at this rate. But the fact that he's doing this really shows a lack of concern for his own well-being and a lack of care for his own self, really. It, it, it just, it's, it's kind of a catch-22. Do you, do you just completely make yourself miserable in, the, in order to hopefully avoid being miserable in the future? Or do you stay comfortable, do what you feel do what feels good and just get worse as time goes on. I get that. I'm aware of that. I'm aware of the struggle. But we get to that point to where we need to focus on, okay, I'm still somewhat healthy now. I need to do something about it now. I need to do something here. And I'm doing that. But other people like Nikikado choose to not do that. And I'm not judging the man. I get there are some psychological issues, there are some physical issues, there are some emotional issues that he's dealing with, because I've seen it build over the years, because this isn't, I'm not new to Nick, to Nick Akato's channel, I'm just, it, it, it's just been a while since I've checked in on him, because after he started going down the psychological rabbit hole, 
I just couldn't, I couldn't see myself watching any more of his content because I could see myself in what he was doing and how he was behaving, behaving. And I didn't want to fall back into that, into that myself. And if I had continued to expose myself to his behaviors, I might have done that because I might have re recognized those same behaviors and said, well, this guy's doing it and he's still successful. Why don't I do it? But, you know, just because someone else jumps off a bridge doesn't mean you have to as well. Just because someone is overeating themselves into an early grave, myself included, doesn't mean you have to. Just because someone is treating their bodily bad their body badly and 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 damaging it irreversibly doesn't mean you have to. And Nikakado, if you watch this video, if by some miracle of God you watch this video, because I know I'm a small YouTube channel that I don't even do mukbangs or anything like that, so why would you have any reason to watch me? But if you do, God loves you just the way you are, but God still wants to pull you out of the hole that you're in. And whether it's depression, anxiety, self-hatred, self-harm, because overeating is a form of self-harm. I, I, I have to disabuse you of the notion that it may be not. You, you can be helped if you just ask God for help, okay? And that goes for any of you watching. If you're in a dark place, if you're in a dark time of your life where you can't see the end, where you can't see the beginning of the end even, if you can't see any point in continuing on without being the same way that you are today, God can help. God will help. God does help. But you need to be willing to reach out and say, God, I don't got any, I don't got any answers for you. I don't got any answers for myself, but I know you might. I know I can't do anything about my situation, but maybe you can. I know I put myself into this hole, but maybe you've got a rope you can pull me out with. And God gives us a way to, a way out of bad situations, but we have to call on him first. We have to be willing to accept help first. It's like the old saying, how many therapists does it take does it take to change a light bulb? Only one, but the light bulb has to want to change. You have to want the change before it happens. You have to want it bad enough that you're going to do anything that you can, seek out any help that you can in order to make that change happen. And Nikikado, and all of you people watching, if you want to change, if you want something done about your life, you can do it. And all you got to do is call on the name of Jesus. That's all you got to do. I'm Gregory with the Wandering Wind. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you're recovering well if you've been through a bit, a bit of a rough time. And until next time, thank you for watching, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless you, and I'll see you again soon.